sound? One, two, one, two. Check, 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 check. Can you hear me? <laughs> All right, back once again. So this beautiful lady got me on my hippie shit. I feel like we're in the 60s and we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna, we're gonna smoke a doobie or something like that. We're, we're at Woodstock, guys. No, we, we. All right, so introduce yourself. Okay, so my name is Rachel Thompson. I'm a body piercer right here in Miami. Wait a minute, you didn't tell me you lived in Miami. Well, I'm guest spotting, guest spotting. Oh. So Irish, living in Dubai, I'm here for a few weeks. So you're that good at it. <laughs> well, well, they have yes. you making a guest appearance. You gotta, you yeah. obviously are well, good I've at what you do. Saudi Arabia this year, I've done New York, I'm in Miami mm -hmm. now, mm -hmm. moving to Kuwait next, so very on the go. I think she likes my tattoos. I do like your tattoos. Yeah, yeah, yeah I figured. If I had, <laughs> like, if I had no ink at all, what would I be oh, invisible? Yeah. No, 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 not at all. Not no. At all. Tattoos are very personal. Uh -huh. I love them. I don't expect anyone else to have them or love them, but they're a thing for me. Well, I'm an artist, so I like art in general. Mm. So yes, but I do care about like the actual tattoos, what they mean. Mm. You know, there's guys that can like be with a girl for length of time and not even like and know what the tattoos like. Don't even know all her tattoos. Like, never really mm. paid it much mind. They don't know the story behind it, like what it means, what it represents. So yeah, so I, I do care about that kind of stuff too. But I know girls like you, they will talk you into getting a tattoo. That's <laughs> if, if you don't have any, they'll true. talk you into it. My Tinder bio actually has um, who wants to come on a tattoo day with me. So it's straight up. <laughs> what? Because <laughs> it's something fun to do. If that's what you're into, it's something I'm yeah, into. Yeah, but I don't like that. I don't like it. No? No, that's because see, cause this is the thing. This is what happens, right? Mm. You're on Tinder. Mm -hmm. And let me see your Tinder, because I imagine the pictures are very, oh I imagine the pictures are very um, attractive, um, right? Cute enough, they're not too crazy. So now what happens is guys are like anything, anything to spend time with this girl. So I don't uh, actually show a lot of my tattoos. Uh -huh. When people see my tattoos, all they want to do is like, oh, she's a tattooed girl, she must mm -hmm. be crazy, she loves drinking. You know, it, that's the kind of culture or vibe they get, you know? Yeah, but you're from Ireland. From Ireland, lass. From I, I actually deleted Tinder this morning. <laughs> you deleted Tinder? Did you now? Yeah. Why did you delete Tinder? Did you find a special guy? No, I'm meeting a friend here today, mm. and we're going on like a little date after he's done volleyball, but... And you didn't want him to know you had Tinder? No, 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 I met him on Tinder. So but like, I'm kind of just... I don't like to use Tinder a lot. I think Tinder, if you spend too much time on it, it's a lot of negative energy. Uh -huh. it's, I'd rather meet someone, get out, let's see what's happening. I don't want to be sitting there like that night scrolling through Tinder again. I'd rather focus on okay. that person, you know? So do you have like self-control? Yes. So you're one of those girls that takes accountability. Absolutely. You know your you weaknesses. Have to. You try to... Have to. Interesting. Yeah. Because you know most girls don't. See, I see the flip where most guys don't. You know what? I take that back. That was a very biased statement yeah, no, to make. Most you. people don't. <laughs> Sorry, but I was. Yeah, we'll clear I was no, no. I was in the realm of females because I'm. You know, we're dealing with you right now, so we're dissecting and analyzing you. But I, I do very much believe that the guys have just as many issues as the women. And the more I try to help the guys, is the more I see that. The more I'm like, yo, you know what? Everything you guys complain about, you guys have the equal opposite issue there is the flip there's always the flip right it's like oh she doesn't cooperate she doesn't follow my lead it's like yeah but you, you you're not a good leader you suck at leading yeah, yeah. so it's like it, it, you know go, it go, it's it, your right way or the highway exactly it goes yeah. both ways right 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 it's like oh she left me and went back to her ex it's like yeah but you weren't fucking her right so it's like <laughs> you know like it's i see like it's on both sides is what i'm saying but back to the whole tinder thing because a lot of guys they like are addicted to tinder in kind of like a gambling sense yeah. like it's a one in a million but they can't stay off that goddamn map. It's like, bro, you have terrible luck on it, but you keep going back on it because three months ago you actually met someone on there. Like, I lost your yeah, but, right. But you've been on this motherfucker since then. You haven't met anyone That's why else. I'm prone to deleting it because I'm kind of mm. like, I don't want that to be my go to my doom scrolling. Okay, you know, so I don't want that to be something I do in the evenings where I'm just like. Because you desensitize yourself. Do you? Yeah, exactly. Like, absolutely do. It's the same way. It makes like, you very superficial. It's the same with watching porn. You desensitize yourself. You I told you guys I watch porn. Backseat driver. 
pussy. I, Same thing. That's what I said. It's a cope. It prevents you from getting out there and getting some real pussy. Mm -hmm. All right. So, what's your what's your take on on porn ultimately? Ultimately, I think like. Everyone enjoys porn, like to a point, like especially if you're with your partner, like it's super fun to like kind of dabble into things if that's what you're into. But to rely on it as a pastime, it's ridiculous. You are making yourself a backseat driver, desensitizing yourself, and that will ultimately affect all of your relationships. Unless mm. you kind of switch your mindset on that. You know, everything in moderation, you know? All right, so the porn should be an accessory, not a necessity. Yes. <laughs> Yes, the porn should be absolutely. an accessory to your sex life, not your sex life. Yeah, like pop off, have fun. Like everyone does what they do, but like uh. when people are stuck in it, like stuck, like relying on Tinder, relying on social media, relying on porn, mm -hmm. you are putting yourself or in video a games or video games, massive one, mm -hmm. you know, or massive masturbation. So uh, let me ask you this: How much of porn do you think is like? realistic as far as how the women behave oh, and act not, and it's not, it's bullshit. not even close right it's bullshit that's what i'm saying oh. these guys don't even know what a real orgasm looks like no, most I of the time so i find it really hard to watch porn sometimes because the women are screaming they're making so much noises mm. it's uh, it's just show business it's such show business but then yeah. guys expect girls to act like that or just mm -hmm. because i'm not moaning or screaming at you mm -hmm. it's not hard enough so you become more aggressive I and mean, it's like that's mm -hmm. not reality it should be something so sensual so chill mm -hmm. scream if you want a screen girl absolutely but guys get very aggressive if you're not exactly like the girl in the tape you know is that not true <laughs> okay so let's try this maybe that's just my day in life <laughs> if, okay so when you're not relying on you know apps like tinder you know as a female you you know i mean are you the aggressor do you approach guys do you hit on guys i'll go up to guys i'll go up to oh, guys do? no problem yeah oh, okay never mind because i was going to say like how do you basically signal to the guy that you're interested so um, i'm not shy i will walk up and be like hey i thought you were really cute or like tattoos are a big thing for me mm. part of my life so i'm kind of like i love your tattoos or like i love your hair you look fly as hell today i'll mm. go up and try to start a conversation as you would normally yeah but i'd you be know? like yo i'd be like yo this chick's trying to sell me a tattoo let's, <laughs> yo, let's get the fuck out of here yo this, no, this, this girl's trying to pierce my nutsack <laughs> let me let's, let's get out of here no but like i would say like i thought you're really cute you know mm. i think you've really got energy oh that's would you different be up for a drink you know would you be up for this would you want to hang out do you want to go to the beach mm. you know see if there's a friendship there first you know i'm not always gonna walk mm. up and be like hey are you down to book tonight that's not my style so wait you believe that guys and girls can be friends or you just mean like enjoying each other's company type of thing i believe guys and girls can be friends 100 percent really 100 genuine friends genuine well i mean in your friend? business yeah you probably be like oh no i have friends and you know that are other artists and you know that kind of stuff yeah. but in the grand scheme of things for the most part most girls don't um you know entertain any activities that are like male dominated so it's kind of really? hard to build a friendship yeah think about it like most girls aren't going to be into video games they're not going to be into tattoos they're not going to be into certain music okay, like okay, like yeah. like what like what, what would our friendship you know be built on or what would it like because i have friends that are like you know bikini competitors and like girls that like they compete in fitness and you know like maybe they're trainers right exactly so we have our things that we can like basically build a friendship around because we understand these 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 concepts in these areas so we can relate in a lot of ways so there's something there you know what i mean yeah um, i think it's about stepping out and trying to do that you know it's about stepping right. out do i love volleyball do i like volleyball no do i play sports no but my friend's playing volleyball mm. and we're going on a date later with and i was like oh let me come hang out i might watch you i might not but i'm happy to chill here in town you know we can <laughs> I may, I may watch you i may not <laughs> <laughs> no, no, at no, least no, I'm I, putting I myself it. in the situation of mm -hmm. I'm around you and your friends now. Mm -hmm. If you and your friends come over after, I'll chat, I'll say hi to them. I might get on with the friends as well, and then that might be a friendship with the group, you know. But you have to be able to put yourself out there, otherwise you're just gonna sit at home on your phone, doom scrolling, watching porn, or on Tinder. Basically, you know. All right. So, do you have more guy friends or girlfriends? Um, probably more guy friends. Probably more guy yeah, friends. Yeah, I. I 
just the I, way I could I guess grew that. Up. <laughs> yeah. But like I was a really sporty kid. I don't play sports mm. anymore. But like I'm a big movie head, so I watch a lot of movies. My friends are into movies. Yeah, we were just yeah. talking about the gremlins. I'm like, why yeah, 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 why would this twenty four year old know about the gremlins? It's a childhood classic. <laughs> Well, I, I love that movie. My friends. Everyone knows me as Gremlin, so. I love that movie, <laughs> man. That was so my good. shit. <laughs> I wanted a Gremlin so bad as a I kid. Know. And then Mogwai with the Yeah, I had to I had to accept the fact that Mogwais weren't a real species. It's kind of that broke my heart. The whole Santa thing, I knew Santa wasn't real, but I thought that the Mogwai was real. Mm. That yeah. hey. look, casual conversation yeah. about movies. There's a friendship, you know? Uh, that's true, that's true. You can pick oh on anything with people. You might not have the exact same core interests, but, but it's similar just conversation. Are you a Batman fan? I am a Batman fan. Have you seen the new movie no, yet? I was oh to shit. Have you seen it? I've seen it twice already. <laughs> no, I have to go see it tomorrow. That I movie was such a it. it was such a um it was such a pleasant surprise because I thought it was gonna be trash when they announced it. I was like, no! And the good news is is that DC is discussing restoring the Snyderverse now. So because of the success of this Batman movie, we're actually gonna get the Batman we were supposed to get, which is Ben Affleck as the Batman. So I'm looking forward to all of that shit too. Oh, I can't wait to go see this morning. <laughs> Yeah, no, you're gonna enjoy it. You're gonna definitely enjoy it. You're gonna like Selena Kyle too. She did her she did her thing. Alright, so now I gotta ask you about sex, right? Uh, so in your opinion, right, um well, if you had to like put a percentage on it, um, I don't want to say ten guys because I'm not trying to count your bodies for you. But let's say it was five guys, right? Yeah. Every guy would be twenty percent, right? So, what percent of guys do you say actually uh, have some navigational skills in the bedroom? Like, how many guys out of five would actually satisfy you? Just like random five out of your experience. Um, probably four. Really? Yeah, probably are you three just, or four. Are you doing a better job of picking them? Is that what Again, better. Is? <laughs> no, because women in general tell me that guys aren't really. Most guys have no idea what what they're what they're supposed to be doing. What's supposed um, to be doing. Again, I'm a real patient person. I'm not a dominant person, mm -hmm. but it's about the chemistry. It's about figuring out with people. Mm -hmm. Just because we get into bed together and it's not my level of expectations doesn't mean I'm not gonna have fun. Do you get me? So Interesting. You have to make the best of decisions. Now, where are they say my top five best experiences ever? Yeah. Maybe. Do you know what I mean? But... Well, you're, you're a team player. Yeah, no so that, <laughs> Most girls, most women are not, and they're not even going to tell the guy, you know, yeah, but if you commit with that going mindset on? into everything, I'm a little bit of a hippie, okay? If you go right. into the, everything with that mindset, kind of going like, mm -hmm. met this guy on Tinder, he's going to be the man of my dreams, he, it's going to be the best sex ever, it's going to be this, it's going to be that, you're letting yourself, you're lining yourself up yeah. at this point. Oh yeah, the expectation is way too yeah, high. You have to come in with a uh, 2% that this might go to hell, you know? <laughs> Well, uh, do you get a lot of mixed opinions on that, or is it kind of women are like? No, women are always like, no, the guys they don't know what they're doing, right? And that's kind of why they're like chasing the same type of guys perpetually, because those guys are, you know, obviously those guys are knowing how to yeah, how to if fuck. You flip it and ask that girl how dominant is she in bed? How does she perform? Well, I don't think about. They I don't get think, very kind of quiet. Yeah, I don't themselves. think it's about being dominant for for women. No, I think but, like, it's just about. The lead. Yeah, I mean that too. That's always nice when a girl knows, you know, wh how she wants to be positioned. She knows, mm -hmm. basically, you know, where she wants to be and how she wants to receive it. That's awesome. Um, but I guess that takes her be having a certain level of comfort with herself first and foremost, the and then with the guy. guy. The same as the guy. Yeah, but you know, you know how it is. The guys don't necessarily get a do-over. They don't get any pointers. They don't get and and then the expectation and the pressures on him to begin with. So it's yeah, kind of tricky. I think is it's kind of tricky. Rubbish, and that's why I say four because I'm kind of like it, yeah, it but has to be. A, you know, majority of the time, you know, majority of the time, you know, guys aren't going to meet a girl like you that's going to be open-minded in that sense. So you know, we got to deal with it. You know, yeah. we got to deal with it. So generally speaking, it's expected for the guy to come in there, know what he's doing, set the tone, make it happen. Yeah, fair, fair. Um, so in your opinion, how long should foreplay last or uh, what amount of time, obviously generally speaking, yeah. right, uh, is required to get you where you need to be? Um, 
think it depends. Like you can lock it down to 10 minutes if you know what you're doing mm -hmm. and if you have good communication with your partner. Mm -hmm. Or, you know, depending on the vibe, if you're chill, taking it slow, that can go to 40 minutes. Mm -hmm. But I'm not about to sit here for three hours being like right. in four plays. Yeah, because my next question was, well then, <laughs> and how much is too much? Because I just think it depends if you're vibing with it or not, you know? Mm -hmm. it, it really depends on the situation. Okay. All right. Like All if right. she's getting off on it, then cool. You then know the pace is faster. Right. But if it's kind of yeah. more of a chill lax vibe. My my policy is ask your partner. Yeah, yeah. Non-verbally though. Mm. I just pay attention to what's going on. Um, and in my experience, the girl's gonna let you know when. Yeah, yeah. No, she's exactly. like, you know. This is why communication. Inter, 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 inter. <laughs> She's gonna let you know, yeah. But I'm not rushing. But that could that could be that that could be the reason though, because I'm the type of person where I'm not even like doing it. Um, You're not trying to get A to B. You're there for the right. Event. Exactly. Yeah. I try to. I just, I just focus on enjoying the process. Yeah. So I wouldn't yeah. put time on it, and I wouldn't expect the guy to have a time on it either. It just kind of be whatever way we're vibing. Let's see how it goes. I mean, you know, we're guys, and I know the guys. They work better with numbers. Statistics, okay. averages. So they're trying to get like a baseline. They're, you know. Okay, that's actually a really good insight. Right. They're trying to wrap their head that. around. You know, with girls, everything's all about the mood and yeah, how yeah. they're feeling, and it depends. And okay, you know, what I mean? minutes, <laughs> kick it up a gear. Um, five minutes, see how she's feeling, yeah. and then. Yeah, 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 that's yeah. I'm kind of, <laughs> and you know, and I tell guys, there's no, there's no problem with going back and forth, back and forth yeah, with it. You can go back. Yeah, if you feel like you're about to, you're about to. <laughs> then you might have to take a timeout, go back to the foreplay. You know that way you can keep, you know, you can keep her, you know, while you, you know, recoup your shit. Because it, right, right. Because if you explode and you let off, then you're fucked. And I don't know how long your downtime is. I wouldn't say you're fucked though. I'd still say kind of like more foreplay. Go, yeah, go yeah, back to that. Go back to her or catch a breather. You might not be ready to get back in after that. That's fine. But I'm not as interested in the foreplay after. Plus. No, but like I'm getting old now, so early, like. oh, that doesn't happen. I don't. <laughs> I don't, well, I don't, uh, I don't premature anything. I, I wait until I'm told. Mm -hmm. When the girl, you know, starts asking questions or starts making demands, mm -hmm. that's when I say, "All right, you're ready." All right, let's go. Let's go. All right, good because we're done after this. Because it's not gonna take me any time whatsoever. <laughs> Just let, as soon as you let me know, green light. Green light. Go. I'm done. <laughs> Bow. So what the, other insight would you have for any women that are watching your channel? Um, on what in particular though? Just with guys when it comes to being in the bedroom with guys, like, do you think more communication is important? Do you think hold off yeah, the expectations I think, a little I think, bit? What's right, your kind of yeah, because I think guys have ego. We all have ego. And I think one of the best things that a woman can do is communicate. If she can find non-offensive ways to communicate things that are not satisfying or, you know, some type of underperformance or underwhelming. Yeah. If she could find the opposite way of saying it, you know what I mean? Just really kind of Right, chill. yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, yeah. you know, guys um, perform better with the reinsurance. You know, the encouragement helps. So, you know, letting a guy know that the size is good, you know, having a, a very sexy, comfortable way of letting him know that, letting him know where to go, how hard to go there, for how long to go there, you know, all those type of things are very, very helpful to guys. Okay. And I think most guys, they're not getting that. They're not getting that direction or that communication from the female. So they really don't know what's going on. Yeah. And then maybe that can start leading to some insecurities because they're like, oh shit, did I do this? Or she, yeah. no, she doesn't like this. Like how you were saying, like when, when you're not making that much noises, guys sometimes think, oh shit, what the fuck's wrong? Mm -hmm. She's not yelling and screaming. So they might think that you're not enjoying it. So it's having that moment of kind of going like, this is good, this is perfect. Just, mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, just, we have you know, here, just like that. whispering and saying something or whatever. Because mm. some women are uncomfortable to talk and make noises and communicate. You know, they're not comfortable with it, right? Okay, I see. Um, yeah. And then some women think that that's what they need to be doing. So what they end up doing is faking it. And now they're yeah, sending the wrong message. Good. Now the guy's like, yo, I was tearing that pussy up. Yo, man, she was screaming. She was banging on the wall. And then she's telling her friends a completely different story. She's like, oh my God, girl, I just wanted him to be done. I'm like, 
Oh, you done yet? Yeah, oh my god, girl, so boring. Okay. And it, yeah, yeah, exactly. So, <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, I think, the, I think the communication would be awesome because the guys just want to know that they're taking care of business and the girl's enjoying it because it doesn't take much for the guy to enjoy himself. And then... Um, no, I'm going to take away with that today. I'm right, and then, and then her telling him the truth is beneficial to her mm -hmm. because now he does know what because to do. And how, exactly, so now everybody's fucking happy. Yeah. He can feel like a champ. Um, and she can, uh, you know, release and some endorphins. Be so lucky I met you today. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh oh. See, look at. See, guys, look. Look, I'm over here. I'm over here playing a supporting role. Scotty Pippen, guys. All right. <laughs> I'm making my contribution to the bro to the brotherhood. Uh, all right. So uh, one more thing. Um, so is the sex better when the guy is toxic? Is the sex better when the guy is toxic? Mm -hmm. No. Is it? No. Yeah, well, you differ there. Most women are like, yes. No. Yes. No. While whilst complaining about the toxic guys they yeah, fuck no, with, bullshit. it's like, which one? You, no, which one is it? That's people being like, oh, it's the bad boy. That's people going in for mm. the type, but it, it's uh, mm. you've triggered me. <laughs> Why are you triggered now? Because it's such bullshit. People looking for the bad boy. People looking for toxic mentality. That oh, he did this. He fucked me off. Da 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 da. But I'm back in bed with him. The next night that's bullshit you yeah, like that emotional I'm, roller coaster maybe i'm just past the point in my own dating life maybe i've just had too many goes around the merry-go-round that i'm just like nah i just want someone who was chill good vibes like that open communication mm -hmm. calm energies maybe that's all i'm looking for that i'm just i'm over that personally and i don't think people should go looking for that because you're inviting mm -hmm. yourself on that whirlwind that roller coaster MGTOW. That pissed off that people... <laughs> You're MGTOW. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> You're MGTOW. Honest to God, like... That's, uh, You're going your own way. <laughs> I'm just going to skirt over here. Huh? <laughs> oh, it's so bad, though. Do, what do women say to that? What? Do to what? women normally say yes to that? To what? That um, just because if they're toxic, they're better in bed. Oh, yeah, always. They almost always do. I, I would say 90% of the time, and my estimations are pretty accurate. Yeah, I interview a lot of women, so like out of 10 women, nine of them definitely would say yes. So I guess you'd be the one out of the 10 that's like, no, absolutely not. Yeah, most of them say yeah, so. Oh, we're not is, feminism back like 20 years right now. Yeah, I mean, look, what? I don't know. I, I'm, I'm all about trying to find a healthy balance. I think that, you know, there are guys that are capable of having the particular traits that women see in bad boys and then also having the traits that they claim that they want. So I think that I'd that guy... I'd rather him be lovely and do a bit of role play than mm, mm, toxic as well. I see what you're saying. Yeah, I mean, well, no, but well, here's the thing, though. Here's the thing. The guy, the guy actually being toxic, I don't think is where the satisfaction and the intimacy it's and the, the passion all that shit comes from yeah. it's just that those guys tend to have that quality it's not they're not synonymous is what I'm trying to say so in other words just by definition bad boy is a choice because think about it you're talking about a guy that just bad shit he doesn't have yeah, to do yeah. bad shit he could have tattoos and not do bad shit he could ride motorcycles and not speed you know what I mean like what the fuck he could have that appearance and not cheat on his girl like so okay well if you find them please send them to me yeah like uh, like all the stuff that these women are complaining about they're all choices anyway at the end yeah. of the day is the guys aren't inherently necessarily like that it's just that that guy can be like that and women and tolerate it and still deal with them so why fucking change i mean when you look at the bad qualities in women they have them because it's not excluding them from the party guys aren't like you know what i'm not no no i'm not going to tolerate that no guys are still dealing with yeah, them yeah, so 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 of course and a lot of times they're actually enabling and encouraging these behaviors so you know, think about it. If you keep rewarding the guy that acts that way, don't be surprised when more guys start acting that way. Because there is a demographic of guys that are like trying to learn how to become a bad boy. You know what I mean? Because they're like, well, that's the guy that's getting laid. That's the guy that keeps fucking all the girls I like. So maybe I need to be like him. So now you got a bunch of soft ass dudes who never fucking been in a fist fight, <laughs> never been, never, boy. never been a juvie. You know what I mean? But they got tattoos and you know what I'm saying. They're trying to smoke weed and act like they're tough. You know, because they're they're trying to get some pussy. So, you know, uh, it is what it is. Yeah, but if you're going to do that, if, like, that's your hustler energy, if you're like, I'm going to do this, 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 mm -hmm. this, that's fine as long as you're not... See, it was the word toxic that kind of caught me. 
do you know I mean like if right. you're out there doing that and that's your personality and that's what you like doing absolutely mm. but if you start being very toxic aggressive mm. it's the toxic part of it mm. you know if that's your energy or whatever live. yeah I mean you could be a bad boy and not be yeah. aggressive at all yeah but at if all. you're going to get emotionally invested with someone and then cut and run mm. every time that's you being a bad person that's the difference you know it's mm -hmm. not just you being this like oh yeah I can remember me it's no it's very different yeah but those guys were sexy though yeah but like <laughs> like take them to bed nah yeah <laughs> that's yeah, yeah there's, oh I can look from here look there's, there like. was something there definitely was something there boy I tell you um yeah and I mean I'm sure there are some girls that they have some appeal to them but you know mm. she would be bad she you know yeah. she's no good for me but she does but have an appeal women though women do it as well women are the exact same women do it like I'm mm. not just at the guys right now women do that as well and right. I just oh tell me tell 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 yeah. tell, tell me about I'm it I'm over it alright <laughs> All right. so um, uh, thoughts on marriage before we get out of here uh, marriage is a piece of paper mm. if you're so committed to someone and you want to do the whole fairy tale moment to absolutely live mm. but I don't think it's for me just because bar dying it's the biggest financial change and commitment you can make in your life so it's not for me okay but as far as like having children raising the family do what you want to do um, what do you mean huh? <laughs> no I just feel like that goes with marriage though like I think I don't like the idea of children hand. out of wedlock. Yeah, I don't. I don't. Yeah. I don't like it. I think my mum would smack me if I got pregnant, but not being married. Okay, personally. Good. Then your mum. You, you and your mom are, are, yeah. me, We're on the same page. <laughs> yeah, I think it's it's yeah. important. But I do uh, think that's my parents' kind of view on it. I think that's a generational thing as well. Mm, Where like I think the younger it's a generation thing. is. Oh, 100 percent. No, you want to be. See, I've gives the kids the an two advantage. Views on it. I have the two views. And it shouldn't it. be an advantage. Marriage gives the children an advantage today mm -hmm. because so f few people do it. Yeah. But it shouldn't be an advantage. It should be the norm. But either way, the children being born out of wedlock is um, an instant disadvantage to the children. Mm -hmm. So that's why, you know, I think it's. Very, very important. It's a priority. We need to bring back that way of thinking. Bring back marriage. <laughs> yeah, because it's not benefiting us. It'd be different if, like, because people have these, you know, points and opinions. They're like, oh, marriage isn't for everyone. And it's like, yeah, but it's for all children, though. It's for all okay. children, though. Now, the fuck? Now that you've kind of explained that a little bit, I, I actually do hear you on that. I, yeah, so I just... You make a very good point. I think we need to... You know, we need to look at the results. Mm. Everybody keeps, you know, with this new shit and these new... Well, things are changing. And, yeah, but they're not changing for the better. Yeah. So, shut up. You know, it'd be different if you were like, oh, well, you know, we have dating apps now and, you know, times are changing, you know. It's like, yeah, but are dating, but are dating apps making dating better, though? Because they're called sure. dating apps. So you would think that they're here to, you know, improve dating because that's what applications are supposed to do, improve shit. All that doom scrolling comes in, you know? Mm -hmm. Where doom and gloom. Now you go on a Tinder date, say you don't like it, you're straight back on. You're just next, 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 next. You're not giving anyone chances anymore. Like what we were saying or you're wrong. Yeah, I mean, well, for me, a Tinder day isn't no different than any other goddamn day. <laughs> for me, it doesn't matter where I meet them. I don't care if it's the supermarket, the hospital, Tinder, Facebook. It doesn't really make a fucking difference to me. You do have a good view on marriage, though. When I think marriage, um, because I'm Irish, I instantly think the religion aspect above mm. the actual marriage aspect of it. So that's why I'm kind of like... Well, the, the, the legal <laughs> aspect and the religious aspect are the least important components to me. Yeah. What's important to me is that the man and woman live together and neither one of them is going anywhere see my views are just crushed in capacity. yeah until their <laughs> kids are like out of high school if you want to get divorced when your kids are 16 or older fine so be it but uh see, divorce is big in ireland but it's not really i mean like if i had a kid out of wedlock, ireland's so small if you got like, divorced and you're not really going anywhere yeah but if i got divorced in ireland my mother would be like <laughs> there's the difference because the religious you know? thing because of the major religious aspect yeah mm -hmm. you don't do it with the catholic church so it's yeah, Catholics are for one shit. Yeah, honest. So they that's why I like power. I'm, I'm gonna sit back, I'm gonna do a hand tying ceremony or something, be committed to my partner, but the marriage well, religion aspect is As long as you stay together for the kids, I'm good. I'm oh, cool. 100%. Because the kids don't know the difference. The no, as long as mom and dad live in the house together, the kids don't know the damn difference. I share that for you. All right. 100%. Uh, so, one more question. Mm -hmm. 
who's your favorite Disney princess? I'm gonna say Simba from Lion King, even though he's what? not a princess. He's, what the fuck? I don't like Disney princess. You're an odd one. <laughs> that has to be a princess. Uh, I'll go with Mulan, I suppose. Really? Yeah. She a bad bitch. So how do you she relate to fighting. like that's a, you relate to her because she's out there fighting? Yeah, she out there doing her own fucking thing. Wasn't that like a true story too? Mm. I think so. The remake is cute, not the no, same. But it is cute. Uh, I was no, I was yeah. like burn this shit. They fucking all of those up, <laughs> which sucks because the whole live action aspect. I think was a per was a beautiful thing. Yeah. Most people were like, "Oh, we don't need a live action." Yes, we do. Like, what the fuck? That would be awesome you know, the if it was done right. Generation are loving it, you know. Yeah, if it was done correctly, I think the live action uh, of all of these things would be cool as shit. I love that. That was one of your questions. <laughs> Oh yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. I usually can tell you a lot, but uh, well, I oh, guess that, I, I guess that does <laughs> that, I guess that does uh, apply to you mm -hmm. somewhat. I'll You're a bit of a tomboy. Mm -hmm. Okay. Did your parents not approve of it at first? Were they like, why don't you play with know. dolls and? So my dad was actually my football coach. Oh, I played okay. football for about from 12 to under 21 seniors. So I was like a fitness kid. I was in the gym a lot. Oh. I had a six pack at the age of like 15. I was Wait, a, do you still have a six pack? No. What the fuck have you been so. eating? Honest to God. Smoking cigarettes and drinking that, apple juice. That's yeah, that's because you've been uh, you've been working is what it is. Yeah, yeah, it happens. When you're at work, you just kind of eat whenever and it is what yeah, it is. Gotta, yeah, you got to pay your bills. So mm -hmm. not mad at you, but it's still in there somewhere. The muscle memory. Oh, yeah. No, it'll come out. It's, it's still in there. Well, we're moving to Kuwait next. All I have to do is the gym. Gym and work, gym and work. So that phase is coming. Yeah, you're going to make so much money. Yeah. Because there's nothing to spend money on there. Like you make, you pay, get paid more, and there's nothing to spend your money on. Mm -hmm. But you're gonna have to follow all those rules. All those rules. No sex out of wedlock. You get caught, they're gonna deport your ass. To so just make sure you know. Because I had to accept all of that when I was gonna go to Qatar. I was like, yes, yeah. I can do this. Yeah. No, it was, it's like you are not getting laid for for about eight months. Can you can you do it? It's like I. Can, and then I come here do it. to Miami, and it's kind of like woo! it's the opposite. Yeah, it's the fucking opposite. Titties out, no rules. It's crazy. Hookup culture, fun. complete opposite from the Middle East. So for very sure, very different. For sure, very different. So if yeah. there's any very humble, kind of like piratey, tattooed people, tattooed guys in Dubai that are like chill energies, mm -hmm. have your hustler energy. That's cool, but know the rules. Come find me, please. Yeah, no, they're serious about their rules out there too. We're joking. We're joking. We're joking. You get caught, they, they, like you yeah, legit yeah. can go to jail mm -hmm. for hooking up, for fucking someone that's that you're not married to, for having a female spend the night at your at your place. Oh, yeah, it's a no -go. They will lock your ass the fuck up, and they don't give a shit about your diplomatic immunity or anything like that. So. So excited. <laughs> yeah, keep the, yeah, so excited. So keep your head down, goddamn it. Yeah. Follow the rules and keep your head down. All right, all right. Let me get out of here. Thank you're, you you're, so much for all your questions. Yeah, Great. yeah. Well. And thank you for being a great guest. Of course. Being okay. being far more interested than the okay. average girl. Hopefully, I'll be what? back. And Miami. The day inside. Yeah, of course. They're gonna they're gonna they're gonna invite you back. Of course. <laughs> you got to come down here in the winter. Mm. It's popping. Yeah. All right, guys. We're out here. Hey, motherfucker, tried to run my Shoot. camera over with a four wheeler. <laughs> Some a bitch. All right, we're out of here. Yeah. Peace. Best luck. Mm-hmm.